Though Salesforce has denied that its platform itself was directly compromised, but this event points to a larger issue. Cloud providers and businesses relying on shared systems face a growing multifaceted threat landscape that is occurring. And of course, with AI, it's getting worse and worse. So what are we going to do about it? So I find this alarming. Uh, it's pretty terrifying uh, that this kind of stuff is happening. So for trusting the cloud providers or the third party cloud provider partners with our data, you know, how often are we going to have these breach attempts being made? And if successful, what's going to be done? How are we going to be made whole, uh, return to just like things were before the breach occurred? And many enterprises are asking that question right now, certainly the 39 that were affected by this breach. So... It reveals the vulnerabilities inherent in shared multi-tenant systems, I think, at the end of the day. Now, I'm not one who runs around and acts like Chicken Little in the fact that the sky is falling every time a cloud provider gets breached. It's going to happen from time to time. And certainly, many of the systems that are on-prem are far greater at risk of being breached than many of, many of the systems that exist in the cloud. As I said on this show many times, your cloud security is dependent on how much you're willing to invest in that security. And if you're investing very little, your vulnerabilities are going to go way up. Your risk is going to go way up. If you invest a lot, get smart people around who are able to, to, to maintain security systems around these stuff and also smart cloud providers, your risk is going to go down. So ultimately, you got to figure out a path for yourself. 